and we're live. Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine. Thanks for joining me live here on YouTube for another edition of Good Beer Live. Kind of flying by and seeing my pants. Sorry that we were a little bit late. It's all my fault. Don't worry about it. As you can see, I, I, my video accidentally looks much better than normal. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang <laughs> on. Fucking hell. Can't do all right today. Fuck off. <laughs> Oh dear! This. Here we go. Hang on, hang on. The replay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wow. Nice. Here we are. It just, so it just it sets thing. the tone. <laughs> I've got it. On, I've got it for, for, for the benefit of people watching at home. There you go. I've got. I've got the comments on on the big screen over there. I forgot to turn the volume off like a fucking amateur. <laughs> right. Start again. Could be alive. It's been a while. That's why this is so absolutely fucking shambolic. Um, but the most important thing is what we're doing today. We're looking at two beers from my most local brewery, the Salt Beer Factory. And the two beers we've got are um, both collaborations. Um, one is um, Tram Shed, which is a collaboration with Track, and that is a double dry hop IPA 7 ABV. And then the other one is called Bowline. O Line? O Line? Yeah, O Line. Yeah. Uh, which is an East India Porter 6.3, and that's in collaboration with Dot Beers. So, what shall we start with? Mm, light first. What are, you, what are you feeling? What are you feeling like? IPA, Porter? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah go, for the, go for this. The IPA? Yeah. The IPA, yeah? Cool. I think so. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. I'm actually, we'll talk about it in a bit, but I'm actually just on another salt beer, because I'm... Um, I consider these things that I'm on the main squeeze, which is a collaboration with Gypsy Hill. It's all about collaborations, obviously. It's a, it's modern craft beer, which is but it's really hard to read the back of the label. But New Zealand uh, pale ale brewed in Nelson Solvin and Moto Eku, a leading hints of lime zest and juice. So it's lime lime zest and lime juice as well. And that's all. Mm. Yes. Very nice. So yeah, so Tram Shed, I I've had this a couple of times. Have you? Because recently you two um, joined me at the um, at the brewery. Did we have it mm -hmm. while you were over here? I don't think we did, did we? No, I, I don't think so. I can't remember it. I only, I only had two beers, or one beer. Yeah, you <laughs> were still still feeling it, weren't you? <laughs> I think, I, I, think I had like four within the space of Craig having half. Half, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was just taking in the scenery. Yeah. <laughs> So big thanks to the guys at the uh, uh, Salt, Salt Bay Factory for sending over um, these cans for us to take a look at. It's very generous of them. And mm -hmm. as I understand, it's their first anniversary today. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I put it on Instagram if it's wrong, it's wrong. But <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're on, they're on their Instagram they were talking about kind of like they were hinting towards something, weren't they? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, in first November. Thinking about it. Thinking about it, it was around that time. I did go to it launch and it was freezing cold outside and it was dark so that kind of it's a bit like now isn't it yeah <laughs> really yeah, yeah so so i did have a, have this a couple of times at um salts festival which was called october first quite recently um I, I i must have had about um t two or three parts of this and re really enjoyed it does it say oh, anything wow. else on that that's a good that's a good say anything about arms so yeah. Alright, oh, okay, before. so the malt's pale and flaked oats. So yeah, the malt's are pale and flaked oats, and then the kettle hops are ci is citra, and then the dry hop citra, I do seven and motor echo. So mm. So what colour are we getting? It's quite um it's quite a darker kind of shade of haze. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's not, that, that's not what I'm for years. Shade of haze. <laughs> that's the that's the same I mean, this is looking because of the light. Lighting is uh, yeah. That this is the this is the wonders of lighting because all our beers look different. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, the same isn't color, it? That's that's what it is. <laughs> but but then it just as I keep doing this yeah. before, it just it goes yeah, crazy. Yeah, I, I know what Craig means. It's got sort of like more of an orange vibe to it than uh, than really yeah. pale. Yeah. Yeah, kind of orangish. But I mean, as far as the clarity goes, you, you say unclear for years. I'm going to go murky for months. Yeah, no, it's, it's not quite unclear for years. It doesn't quite no, stretch. There's, yeah. no, there's, there's no, uh, there's no bits and pieces in there. There is a bit no. of clar clarity towards the yeah. sort of uh, top end, but whatever. Yeah. It's hazy. It's making me salivate. Yeah. Perfect, perf <laughs> perfect camera beer. So. <laughs> 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 You've got numerous connotations as that. <laughs> that's 
So shall we check out the aroma? Let's go yeah. for it. Mmm, wow. play it. Mmm. It's got a savoury edge to it. I get like dried mango. It's like opening like, yeah. you know, those, like snack packs of dried mango. Yeah. Yeah. It's slight, I mean, I was getting it on the first whiff and then it's perhaps on my nose is acclimatising to... <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting. I'm definitely getting that mango, and kind of it's it's lots of pith and peel, mm -hmm. lots of orange peel for me. It smells very inviting, but I know what you're getting at, Craig. I completely know what you're getting at. It was a kind of a like bit. a. I think it's blown off a little bit now, though. Yeah, just that first initial it seems to have gone. Yeah, almost like like basil, like like a slight herbal edge. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, okay. what, so what did you say? So citra, obviously, that's a very familiar one. I know seven. I don't know much about that hop, to be honest. I've had a no. couple. Sounds like it should be like a punk band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it, for me, it's a combination of kind of citrus and then that more, slightly more um, tropical, as you said, the kind of pale stone fruit, mm -hmm. mango, that kind of thing. Yeah. But it smells great. It's, yeah, it actually, I, I ha when I picked my, my cans up from the brewery, I had a half of it, and I remember it being... A lot more, a lot more malty was the draft. A lot just still a bit more muted, but that yeah. smells wonderful. Which I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was. I mean, the colour of it. I mean, I was expecting a little bit more of that kind of malt presence, um, but it's not really. It's mm. not from the aroma anyway. No, no, it smells gorgeous. Mm. Vibrant. Shall fresh. we? Yeah. Shall we dive in. I'm Cheers. spitting feathers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Mm. Wow. But I think that then, then the flavour for me takes you in a different direction. Yeah. There's, a, there's almost something like peppery. There's like a floral pepperiness. Yep. Floral. I mean, and I, I'm going back to when you, when you were saying that kind of basil thing. For me, mm. it's somewhere between basil and bubblegum. Getting a. Yeah, it's, it's definitely some kind of herbaceous thing going on. Um, yeah. And for me, it's, for me, it's like again, it's dried fruits. It's not like really no. juicy. Mm. Um, no, it's definitely in your face. I, but, but it's a gro it's a grown up beer. I'd say <laughs> it's not like silly flavors. It's quite sort of a. I had a, I had a, an IPA earlier on um, that was kind of very drying, but not. This has got more more of a bit of a punch of kind of that that fruit presence than the one earlier mm, if, if you gave me this blind I'd have I'd have thought something like mosaic or Simcoe because it's mm. kind of it's got that berry edge you get from Simcoe it's got for me it's kind of as you were saying about dry fruits Sim dried strawberries Sim Simcoe yeah definitely more of a Simcoe because it, it's dank but it's not kind of like yeah. musty yeah. and but it's got that kind of berry side of things Ooh. yeah the one earlier was a lot more musty than this. Yeah. Well, what did you have earlier? Um, a Colonel Eldorado Citra pale. Oh. Which is quite interesting. Still enjoyable, but mm. yeah, it's kind of. That's it's dry, very drinkable. Seven percent. Bit more. Bit mm. more dry. I mean, exactly. This is seven percent, and there's like, there's nowhere to be found that. Mm. No. It's very, it's very clean though as well. It's another thing. Perhaps it's the mm. water, water quality of your neighbourhood. I don't know what it's like around here, to be honest. I mean, when I homebrew, I actually lived, used to live in, in I, I've only homebrewed once, I think, since I got here. So I did most of my homebrewing in Saltaire, so it will have been the same, <laughs> same water source. But um, I did a bit, I, I do a bit of, bit of um, water treatment, I'm so I'm sure those guys do as well. Yeah. I don't know if it's known for its kind of like water quality. But um, yeah, there's nothing weird going on. There's nothing kind of like it's really pleasant. Yeah, mm. it's really good. Um, it's... I think the, I think the nose off is promising a little bit more kind of zip and vitality. So Carbonation is quite low. Yeah, it's it's very soft almost. Um, but then there's a slight that that slight um, harshness of that kind of fruity ester presence. Um, you know, from mm. the hops, from the hops. But again, the Idaho yeah. Seven. Idaho Seven. It's not a. It's not. I've had it a few times. Well, we all have. But 
for me personally, I've not had it a lot to work out what it's all about, you know. Me neither. I, I remember having my most memorable Idaho 7 uh, experience was, was a clink the day after the, the last day of us um, being in Birmingham. And um, it was it were, it, were, it were a Colonel IPA Idaho 7, and it was fucking horrible. I, were like, I don't know if it was just. I don't know if it was the beer or it was me. I don't know, but it was like, oh, <laughs> kind of sending sh- sh- shudders down the spine. Oh, you can't say that about Colonel. I know. <laughs> That's craft beer sacrilege. It's just, it's just the hop, isn't it? Perhaps on its own. I, still, it's I, think, I don't know, maybe. Hmm? Exactly. I think some hops can get away with being a single hop. I don't yeah, think. Yeah. It could, Not it could many be another cats. Sriracha Ace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd be curious yeah. to have, have more of it just to know I get a better handle on what it is I mean, me nowadays I I think I used to know what hops specific hops tasted like I think our IPA is brewed these days I don't think I know what most hops taste like anymore mm-hmm. yeah I've got memories of what I used to think they taste like it's expanding all the time though isn't it you're getting these these kind of hybrid hops and then it's now then it becomes an official thing and all that sort of thing. It's not just a barrel of numbers or whatever hop. It's yeah, the name form, I guess. But and plus, I mean, is it... when, you, when you mash them all together, it reacts to what? All that sort of yeah. I guess, uh... I think the New England style has kind of. It's for me the New England IPA has made kind of like hop profiles become like. Painting with all the colours in your on your palette, it's a bit of red, a bit of yellow, a bit of green, a bit of blue. But eventually, everything just becomes a bit you know, like a, in a, the most best possible way becomes like a muddy kind of purpley colour. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's not, I don't mean it's unpleasant, but it's just, it just everything gets a bit maybe a bit lost. Yeah. So I think most like of the time, when you mix Neapolitan ice cream together, it just all goes. exactly. <laughs> it just all That's turns yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and you kind of lose the, the those brown, distinct so. notes, don't you? Mm-hmm. It, all t- it all turns to the brown in the end. <laughs> that's the Live your life by any mantra. And that's it. No better one you can yeah. pick. I'm nearly finished this. So, it's damn good. I'm, I'm, I, I, I yeah, applaud I'm, the rest, I'm, and I've got like that much <laughs> left. So, that's super all well. left. Yeah, no, it's, it's nice. flying down. Yeah, I mean, send a couple of each. I'll we'll save the other one for a, a, a review it's down the line. Yes, it's, absolutely. Uh, yeah. you'll, well, you'll, so, you'll, you'll definitely be seeing individuals pro- reviews from me for both beers as well. Yeah. And clearly they'll have a lot more insight now because we've kind of had the, the, the hive mind. of. Um, yeah. But then again, you might have a, bit of a, you might have a different experience with it as well. I mean, beer is, is all about time and place, isn't it, as well? I mean, um, yeah, I mean, you're yeah. on your own. I think you're probably thinking in a different way and what you've been doing earlier that day yeah. and what you had to eat. There's so many variables. So, yeah, I'd be interested to see how, um, how those kind of individual reviews turn out as well. So, Craig, do you have the, um, the untapped details? Yeah. Yeah. For this one? I'll just, uh, if, hopefully it will work. Because my laptop has been, although it's here, it's, it's been playing up. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. Did we, did I we use a laptop? Out, then? <laughs> <laughs> no, just you. Really, just me. Oh, it's fucking internet. See. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's, it's certainly happening. It's it, it's been a bit laggy for me so far. Mm-hmm. Brexit, Brexit in it. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I got that European in there. Yeah. <laughs> Come over here, steal that band. Yeah. <laughs> but so, I'm back now. It's just slow. It's working, but it's slow. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. It's all good. I've done something, but um, all. I did so. A couple of them. Yeah, some running slow anything. as hell. Yeah, that's the trouble. It's all that malware. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Not not those torrent actually. sites. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's a seat. That's and do you know map. what? I've actually, I have actually been considering getting back on the old torrent sites to, to get the new Rick and Marty series. Oh yeah. Thinking, yeah, well, I'm missing out. Yeah, you'll have to, uh, Jake. You'll have to do um, it large screen in a second. Put it large. Um, Put it large. Make. Gonna yeah. Work. What? What? Make create <laughs> yeah. large. Yeah. yeah. I can't see nothing now. Well, so what? So so while Craig is doing that, I'll just read out read read a couple of the comments what we've had so far. So Mr. Codes says each uh, each shade is like a more di- dehydrated urine colour. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Craig's clearly looks quite healthy at that point, and I'd say he's the healthiest <laughs> one of the lot. I, I'm I'm concerned about Jake though. I think he's on his last legs. <laughs> um, then clear the drinker. Our lovely gorgeous Peter says evening, gents. Evening. We've got Adam Johnson. He says evening, chaps. Evening. And then we've got Tilly 1970, uh, 1997. And who says hello? So I think that's Stuart probably under an alias. <laughs> and then we've got just then we've got Luke uh, one nine nine eight seven. He's the 19,989th of the Lukes. Hmm. Um, he, he, and he says, good evening, gents. I'm supping on a kind of verdant 5 a.m. Uh, get on this one, lads. It's a juice bomb with a nice, steady bitterness. Uh, for me, it's perfect. Oh, great. Yes. I, 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 had, I had the second batch of that, and I was a bit like, eh. I had a couple of verdants last night. night. I, did I, I definitely had one. I had the um, Bud's, Bud Lear's rust and messages i had that last night and it was really good we had an indie man and we're blown away by it i had last night and i, and I still i still thought it was one of my, my preferred verdant beers in a while just because it had a bit of a di- bit of difference um which was nice yeah yeah i remember it being really good i, I actually i can actually remember it so it must have been good <laughs> yeah so um yeah enjoy craig do, he's not, he's not playing well uh, Craig, your your untapped page has, has appeared as a second person. Is it? <laughs> so if I you click should... it, what 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 will happen? Shall we see? Shall we see what will Ooh, happen? No, you have to. It? You go on the to the right. There's. It's done, it's done. Your... Hey, there we go. There I we can't... go. I... I can't. I've only got that page for them. So I'm, I'm trying to... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it, it, it looks like it's showing. If you, the, if you uh, scroll, let's see what happens. Yeah. So can... Oh, yeah, two seconds. Yeah, so if, if people weren't aware, so Tram Shed, I mean, the name given to the, uh, to the, uh, to the beer is, I mean, the, the pub, what it's, the pub, which is at the front of the brewery, um, was called uh, was called Tram Shed, and, but, then, but its original use was the Tram Shed. Which um, I was, so that was the shed for the trams and the power power house for the tram line, which runs through um, from Salt Air to Shipley, uh, is Salt Air Brewery. So, and I don't know how I don't think I don't think the, the most comfortable bedfellows um, Salt and Salt Air, but so uh, it's quite interesting that um, they're, they're so closely, so intrinsically linked. But that's the yeah, that's the name behind the. Um, yeah, the big it's, it's funny usage of the venue. So what? So what we got then? On, on so tapped. we got um, obviously not because it's, it's beer. It's then it, it came out for Oktoberfest. So month. start of September, start of September, I think. Wow, tenth of September, something like that. Sort of eight week, eight weeks. Yeah. Yeah, or well, seven weeks or whatever. They didn't can it until they didn't can, they didn't can it until two weeks ago. I what this is then, I guess. There's probably yeah. about 40. Yeah. 43 people have probably had and canned, I'm guessing. In the last 30 days, yeah. it's 113. <laughs> yeah. 135 runs. Yeah, and, and, and how? 4.14. That's, that's a very respectable cool. rating. I'd buy that beer if I saw that's, that's it was a four point one four. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's damn. That's, it gives you a good guide anyway, just to you know. Obviously, you, you never know. It depends on your palate, I guess. But yeah, if, come on, 
get on it. Kind of, kind of I do. And track as well. <laughs> I mean, great. Yeah, a great collaboration beer as well. I mean, you know, um, yeah, really interesting. So, I have a look. So, use. Uh, Excuse me, commenting. Uh, it's always quite quite is, is, sweet. There, is there anybody? It is me as well. <laughs> not, not much. Been uh, that was on draft. Where was that? Uh, Brew York. Mega you. Uh, oh, yeah, cool. Salt. Yeah, actually, at, at the uh, at the place, he liked it. Alex C. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Another one likes it. Yeah. So yeah, obviously, it's gonna. Be getting a lot of high scores with the mm. 4.14. Got us a four and over kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean that's, that's that's still pretty good. That's good. So that's under the can. Like, an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get more of an idea of the colour as well with uh, with this compared to uh, yeah cams. It's probably a really, really little bit more. Uh, mm. uh, there you go. Pretty true, but yeah. Why did I do that? Because I've got to get back now. It's going to take forever. <laughs> he, clearly, um, he clearly needs a, um, a salt branded glass like me. <laughs> oh, what else we got? We go Jake should never, should never done that thing with his Norton. <laughs> <laughs> Oh right, that's interesting. So, so that yeah. Paul F, who you immediately looking oh, at, he bought that. He was drinking that down in West Sussex. Oh, it's made its way down. Let's get it, yeah. Let's oh, get in it's... around for a, for a relatively small brewery. I guess they've got a bit of reach. Oh, George George B's coming with the coming with the jokes. What one? No. <laughs> uh, well, what? I don't know, but yeah, and I we... drink ish. <laughs> So, Too many beers. I get tramshed. <laughs> tramshed. Tramshed. Bingo. Oh, Bingo S. Elephant. Beer. Song. That was his name, though. James. <laughs> I always like to find um, somebody I know who's um, doing <laughs> it and I can, um, can have a go at him. <laughs> Oddly, even though the, the brewery is down the road from me, um, nobody who I know has popped up yet. I, I, probably a lot of the local ones. I mean, some of the first ratings will be people I know, I'd imagine. And uh, while we're here, I, I'm just going to quickly, because uh, it's quite an impressive um, website to look at. Well, it might Go take for it. Like 10 minutes. But... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, um, we'll vamp, we'll vamp over it. <laughs> but yeah, the, the website is really kind of, kind of the place itself. It's very kind of clean, very the website is really damn good. Well, that's one thing. Was, yeah, we'll talk about Perhaps. that in a bit. I mean, that's um, because Craig and uh, Jake recently, yeah, um, when they were both they were both up for um for Indian Man, and I mean, I, and I'm a 10 15 minute walk away from um, Salt Bay Factory, so. Um, and you, the, 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 the opportunities never overlap for you, both of you to go at the same time. So Jay went on um, on Friday night and Craig went on um, on Sunday afternoon as soon as it opened, pretty much. So probably quite a different experience. Craig got it like um, very bright and early and empty and Jay got it quite loud and busy-ish and dark and um, with bountiful amounts of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Lamb Murgers Pizza. Oh. Oh, well, well, look at the well. You can see, you can see the you can see the brewery there and the, and the, the tap room. It's amazing. It's absolutely awesome. Yeah, and, it is. It is a good. Um, it is a good space. Um, who's trials down here? And take a tour of the brewery in three D. Will this work? Probably you did that is going to kill your bad whip. It's like he's on dial up. It will. Nice. It. It, was, it, 3D was, tour. it was okay. 3D tour, but then... I usually I only ever see 3D, yeah, I'm not gonna, 3D I'm not tours in cheap hotels. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, there used to always be a really ridiculous See. plugin you'd have to open up as well, like a silver something. Yeah, you have to download. Well, that don't look I like don't it. Know where... How? Do how? It, hold yeah. on. We've got some like, oh, yeah, cameras. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, go and check. Yeah, your computer can't go through. <laughs> yeah, probably easier if I so go yeah, on, that on the Mac and just film it. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's great, isn't it? But yeah, we'll talk about we'll talk about um, kind of your your kind of joy experiences at the shortly. So I'm I'm going to finish this because that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same to me. Because we often we often don't finish the beers. Uh, I think sometimes because well, we might maybe we don't like them as much as other beers. And usually, because they're in bigger review, cans, and I'm all for a bloody 330. Yeah. Yeah, free, 330 cans. All for a 330. Yeah. What, what about the uh, 250 mil cans that Wonder Beyond have released? Yeah, I love, I, it. About that, I love it. Anarchy have released an Imperial Stout in one of those. A friend of mine was drinking one of them. She, she's up that way, and yeah, she was drinking an Anarchy one in that. I think for Wonder Beyond, that is absolutely genius move. And I think yeah. it'll. I think so loads what? of other people will follow suit as well. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and one thing, and one thing, it's got people talking. It's yeah. like, because <laughs> yeah. people their have views. a very yeah. uh, polarizing view of like those cans. Yeah. Like, some people are like almost offended by them. It's like, but they're, they're, a lot of their beers are over 10%. Yeah. And a fourth million. Really as well. That was it, Occupy thing or whatever it's called. Would perfect for mm -hmm. like, like that by the sound of it. I mean, I've never had it, but. Absolutely. What I've heard, it's like lots of pecan. It's like, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think that's true. Plus, you got, I mean, you got Burn it going to be going to be canning. There's a lot of people that yeah. you never think we're going to, especially burn, especially burning sky. Um, so that, well, that see, I was listening to my mate, my mate's podcast to, today, and they were kind of coming out on that, and they were kind of like, "Ooh, can't believe it!" And but what they're actually canning is yeah. kind of pails. IPAs and seasonal saisons. I'm like, I have to say something. I'm like, yeah, of course you're gonna. They're probably missing out on sales because their their IPAs and pails aren't in cans, even though they're like one of the best breweries in the country. Mm -hmm. People have got just the pants yeah. over the kind of seven fifties of kind of like amazing beer, but why shouldn't they be buying equally as good kind of run of the mill kind of like pale beers and stuff? I think it's a sensible move. On their behalf, I think they'll. I'd I'd buy more of their beer if kind of their pale stuffs in cans. Yeah. Just balls. Yeah. Who fucking drinks balls now? <laughs> Is it weirdos and shit? No, two fifty, two fifty million cans. I mean, the, the Belgians have been doing it for ages. That's what that's what you get. It's uh, what pores you get in Belgium. Yeah. So it's kind of like exactly. Maybe we 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 are starting. To I think to level now where. I wonder if Wonder Beyond have felt a little decline in sales. So yeah, that's well, why it, it, it's, yeah. it's put it's put me off buying them. Yeah, because I just because like I, I I either buy it because I know I'm going to be sharing it with somebody, <coughs> or I just don't or I just don't buy it because I'd never yeah. probably drink that. At home, I like to drink like session beers, and I can maybe have a couple. But yeah, I don't particularly like... always want to drink a big fourteen percent ridiculous stout at home by myself. <laughs> <laughs> but about two fifty of it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If you're in a bar, you buy a third. That, yeah, yeah. yeah, you won't buy. You won't buy two thirds yeah. or a pint of that said beer, or or multiple thirds no. of that same beer after each other. Not yeah, all. it's yeah. No. I think no. you know, it's a good move. It's a good move. Yeah. yeah. And if and then if you buy That's two, you have five hundred mil. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they into a, 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 well, a well shouldered bottle and pretend it's um, Cascale as well. Yeah. You? Real <laughs> ale. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, shall we skip on to the next beer? Yes. Yeah. Next one up is obviously Salt Beer Factory. And um, this time, in collaboration with Duck Beers, which I, I believe from Grimsby. The beautiful fishing port of Grimsby. <laughs> and it's called Bowline. Uh, it's in the East India port at so 6.3% ABV. Um, 
I like I like I like an East India Pour. It's, it's that whole thing about what is East India Pour. Or because last thing I heard, it was I think both um, I think it was Mike Cornell and also the, the exalted Mr. Johnny Garrett um, were saying that the kind of the evolu- the kind of like the future of the Black IPA potentially kind of resides in the idea of an East India Porter. Yeah. More accurately, that is what it should be. Because I think that, I like a black IPA, I think there's a bit of a weird stigma to it, but I think if you go East India Porter, I think people are a little bit more accepting. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that, kind of what I'm expecting, so a bit hoppier. That came out that's velvety be- smooth. That, that, that is like that's pouring a be- silk. I was just about, just about to say that, beautiful pour on this. Yeah, beer. that's like the nicest Be- pour I've seen all year, I think. <laughs> that that is wow, and it's a really creamy. Yeah, re- that that like that really poured chop- better than hairs. like some massive imperial stout. <laughs> that that was mm. wow. I, I was you know, yeah. for a porter. A porter looks good. I'm trying to not smell it. I put it over yeah. there because I think it's 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 trying to creep in. Yeah, um, but um, the malt, I've, I've, the malts the malts are pale wheat, uh, me- uh, mellow lo- mellow melanoidin. Um, a little, a little, a little, a little. Crystal four, Crystal four hundred, um, Cara, a carafe free and chocolate, and the kettle hops are Simcoe and the dry hop is citrus centennial and Simcoe. There we go. I saw that Simcoe bit. I was like, hmm. well, that's that's a dark mm. porter. That's that really dark. It is, isn't it? Very dark. Jet, jet black. The head, the heads love it. If someone had passed me that, I'd think they'd pass me a ten percent imperial stout. Yeah, yeah, indeed. It, it, it's it's like sticking to the glass. A- engine oil. Oh. Yeah, it's got some nice, oh. nice, nice, nice it's riven my engine. <laughs> no, I've already, I've already oh. had a quick whiff. Yeah, mm. I've, had a, I've, yeah. Had, I've had a nose. Oh, I've had shall to... we? Shall we? Yeah, all yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's dive yeah. in. Oh yeah! Wow! Oh, that's, that's nice. wonderful. That is definitely yeah. along those lines. But you want in with kind of black IPA meat? I love Stone Sublime and Self Righteous, and it's taking me back there. It's got a little bit of smoke smooth. to it as well. Yeah. Yeah. It smells it smells smooth. Oh wow. It smells, it smells like smells wonderful. mouth it's, it smells mouthfeel velvet. <laughs> you know it's got a bit just... of cocoa powder, it's got a little bit of beef gravy granules for me. <laughs> yeah. But I'm common, what can I say? <laughs> it's got a little bit of and kind it... of um beef jerky thing about it or something oh. like that. I, I'm, I'm even getting something like a little bit sort of like lavendery, like palmer violets, maybe. Oh, oh don't ruin it! Don't ruin it! <laughs> <laughs> I quite, I quite, I, I like a palmer violet every now and again. It's got a lot going on. I'm getting kind of, I got a hint of bonfire toffee. Definitely yeah. smoke, smoke. Yes, sly kind of smoky hint in there. No, that's yeah, from maybe the carafe. But then a meaty, there's a meaty kind of edge. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> There's like a bit of, bit of char, a bit of mm-hmm. char going on with it. Meaty char. Wow. Smells, smells lush. There, there, there is, yeah, there is like a, almost like a burnt, you know, like the crispy burnt bits burnt on a pizza edge. crust. Yeah. Burnt edges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smells good. It does smell mm. good. Shall we? Let's go for it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Well, that's 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 a bit. That's everything to all people. I think that. Yeah. That's that's superb. That's superb. Oh my word! Sending sending tingles down my spine. (laughs) That's that's got that lovely smoky. Mm. Oh, it's it bon- bonfire, bonfire. <sighs> bonfire, yeah, bonfire night beer. Mm. Yeah, it's quite ooh, sweet. Ooh, up, ooh. It's quite sweet up front, and then it sort of get oh, you get that lo- smoky edge with the, and it's then a lovely, nice little pang of bitterness. Yeah, it's got a lovely roasty, toasty to their malts. Mm. That's oh, it's that's very cool. different as well. I haven't had a beer like this in a while. That's really for nice. me. It's it kind of starts with that. Um, that kind of cocoa powder, that um, bit of dark chocolate. Then it starts oh, going to him. Um, it's got a slightly umami kind of quality as well. Mm. 
Then he, then he dro- drops off into that kind of slightly citrusy thing. I think you get the kind of yeah. pops coming through, and then it, back in it starts kind of amping up again and becoming really kind of robust and rounded and full. And then back that smoke and and melted dark chocolate and a bit of coal and oh, oh. That's, that is delicious. I think people have massively overlooked this beer. That, this is delicious, Ooh. man. Like, what a perfect that, beer for this time of year, though. Yeah, leaving that oh. basin and shit, it's like, it's, it's got it all. You could tell, as soon as you poured it, you thought, fuck it, here we go. <laughs> yeah. It's only 6.3. I know. Oh, it's sessionable. God. All, the, all, all day long? Yeah. Oh, that is, that oh is yeah, that is, that is an absolute revelation. I mean, my mate um, at my local bottle shop kind of... Insinuated that some people had said some uh, less than positive things about this beer. Now, now knowing that, you're fucking wrong with you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> I mean, I love Colonel's uh, um, kind of export India porter. You know that, um, and it's and it's as good as that. If, it's, it's hard to say because I've not had that in a long time, but th- this beer is really good. And um, if that, if the Colonel that. Exporting your porters anywhere as good as this. Wow, I need to drink more of that as one as well. Yeah, that, that I must now you say yeah. that that is one thing that is reminded me of now. Come to think of it, is that it's on that, I, it's, I on think, that it's on that ballpark. I think ex, export India porter, the the kernel one. I don't think it's as yeah. hot as as hoppy as this. I think it's probably a bit yeah. more traditional. I think I think okay, this, little, I think yeah. that little sort of like citrus character and everything you get from this from from those from those hops. I mean, it's got like citra and all sorts yeah, of yeah. that. Yeah, that's still shining a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, and I think that's what makes it quite. It's quite a unique beer. It cuts through. I mean, citrus, Centennial and Simcoe. Mm. It's almost even like a sort of like a honey flavor in my mouth. It's really, it's really good. <laughs> so, there is there is a little bit of I'd say like chocolate coming through. But it's more of a oh, I say cocoa, yeah. co- more of a cocoa powder. Yeah. Um, a little. It's not. It's more powdery than. Mm. Yeah, for, like for me, dark. I get I, I get it up front when I have a like. Yeah. Yeah. Initially, and then and then that that smokiness, that sort of like roasty quality takes over. But then it does. Yeah, but then it, it, it does have a. It does have a sort of. Even though it's quite a not, like nice mouthfeel, it does have a. It does have a lightness about it and a drinkability. Yeah, it's a creamy, it's, mm. it's a velvety, creamy oh. mouthfeel. It's like it's like a medium body to the beer. It, it's got like, um, I mean, I'd say it's more of, you know, you have a hot chocolate and you get near the bottom of the cup and it kind of goes a bit thicker. It's got a little yeah. bit of that kind of quality, kind of thing going to it. But yeah, yeah what beer, that is fantastic. It sounded good, I thought, well... You never know with beers, do you? Somebody. Then you put, as soon as I poured, I thought, wow. Just... Okay. Yeah, that's that's absolutely that's stunning. Well, um, just want to run through some comments. We've had quite a lot. I mean, mainly from two people, yep. but we, I want to I want to kind of like address them. So we've got, so we've got Chris Craig says, um, Jake, what's your favourite session beer? We'll come back to that because I think that's yeah, um, it's that's good. a really good question for everybody. And why just why not, why just Jake? Yeah. Well, come on, we all know why. But <laughs> <laughs> and, and, so, and then Adam, Adam Johnson says, "Is there a lot of Exalta brewing staff working there?" As far as I'm aware, no. So the brewing team, from what I understand, is uh, there's a guy who I don't know who I think is the, like the brewery assistant, and then obviously head brewer is, is Colin Strong, formerly of. I guess most most famously of Buxton, he's been at Marble obviously in his early days, and uh, most recently he moved to um, Salt from uh, Northern Monk. But yeah, I think he kind of made his name at Buxton in a lot of ways. Did Colin, um, and then and then Colin's kind of like um, kind of other brewer is an, a lad who worked at Buxton with him as well. Can't remember his name. Um, and then we've got. Um, Adam also says Oxford is extremely sweet. Chris Craig says Craig, your bandwidth needs fixed. Uh, Adam says uh, Whoops, Whoops, drinking West G forty three for a Belgian style three thirty mil ball. Not in the shed though. <laughs> uh, um, Chris Craig says, uh, "What do you think of G forty three? 
wasn't impressed. I don't even know what G forty three is. Is that a little, is that a kind of a it sounds like a four loco or something like that? <laughs> 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 I'm drinking a G forty three. But but Adam didn't think it was, um it wasn't great. I had too much a better blondes. I can't remember the last time I had a blonde beer. Um um uh, they're just chatting in monkey cells. Blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's great. And I think I think Adam's gonna join us actually a bit a bit later on when Craig starts a stream later on as well, isn't it? So yeah. yeah. Oh, and Chris asked what the uh, Ooh, what the beer was. Was it? Yeah, I've already I've already done it. So. Oh, you already you already sneakily done it. Yeah, you're a sneak, you're a sneak, you're a sneaky boy down there. What are you doing? <laughs> But this is, yeah, this is absolutely staggering, isn't it? I'm, I'm really impressed by this. It's awesome. I'm glad I've got another camera. I'm just, I'm just saddened that when I do my, my like, my review on camera, I won't have that kind of, like, that, that first Surprise. time experience. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Because I was, I was completely not expecting it. It's like, I knew it was going to be a well-made beer. It was going to be yeah. good. Mm-hmm. But I didn't, I didn't think it yeah. was going to be that good, to be honest with you. No. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. <laughs> I'm very pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Appreciative. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad I have another can sitting in the yeah. <laughs> sitting in the fridge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, love, I'd, love, I'd love to get I'd love to get another one of this. Oh, it's a Sunday it's a Sunday night beer, isn't it? Just just have a bit of bit of stew, maybe yeah. some oh, sticky man. toffee pudding. Oh but yeah, imagine having this with a Canada. stew, beef, oh. a beef beef stew. Oh my god. Mm. Stop mm. it. Stop! stop. <laughs> keep your camera, keep your camera up there, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Down now. don't panic. Um, so, as, as as I said earlier, um, both you guys um, paid paid a, a visit to a, a salt beer factory. What, what 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 did you take away from that? What, what were your you know, what, how did you how did you find it? What did you think of it? Well, my, mine was well because I, I went with you, Rob, obviously, and you know all the the best entrances. <laughs> and we went in because we, like we're from from the outside from that like front f- road facing side it's like a big almost like sort of traditional pub in a way isn't it it's like a almost like a weatherspoons yeah. five in that front bit for me. it does like, have a little bit of a yeah. spoon and before the the upgrade it felt even more spoonsy yeah uh, and then and but like we went in the entrance around the back which is the brewery side um yeah. And that that was amazing. Like drinking in that space was incredible. There was like a DJ going, and we had like great pizza and and great beer. And, and it was and it and it was really good. I, I like that side of it. I don't know how I would have coped in the in the other bit of it, but <laughs> that brewery. Yeah, it great. gets mega busy in the in, in the tram set, in the old tram shed size. The, the hop, it's called now. <coughs> yeah, so I guess that's one thing I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mention. You mean um, so, so beer factories. It is the the people behind it are, are, are Ossie Brewery. The money, the people who, the money behind the, the, the project is is um, is Ossie. So you'll find a lot of you'll find salt beers in Ossie pubs. So Ossie is a um, a little town outside of Leeds, between Leeds and Wakefield. So it's, a bit, it's not far from where I I grew up. So I was very familiar with uh, kind of Ossie beers and stuff. But um, this is de- definitely them taking a, a leap into the kind of the, the kind of a brave new world of kind of craft beer. And, it's know, called they've it, done it it a, something, something like, a bit of an independent thing, as opposed to like yeah. it's their craft brand because there's no yeah. Osset stuff on there, is there? It's no, it's not like a, no. In, in the pub, ne- in the pub next door, I mean, what's showing on the front of the hot bit? That's mainly Osset. Yeah, um, but you get, but you'll get a lot of you'll get a lot of macro beers in there, but you'll still get. a Four, maybe four, kind of like um, beer factory beers. Um, so I mean, it's a it's an expansive range. It used to be really nondescript as a range in there. You get a bit of Osset, and you get maybe once in a while get some some Rat Brewery, who are also part of the Osset kind of like family, and that'd be a highlight. But you I mean, it's a funny one. I mean, in a lot of ways, I don't think I don't think the the natives are quite ready for it. It's a funny one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the. Cause, I mean, I, the stuff what you 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 both drank were more kind of session strength mm-hmm. um, beers, and that's <laughs> primarily what they have in draft. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're, they're really good. Well, I mean, I mean, when I went there, it was obviously a bit quiet, but the front end was getting starting to fill up with, you know, the Sunday lunch, mm. uh, trade, and um, I'd actually been there. Before it was the brewery in of course, the pub before, yeah, yeah, Stuart. 
with Stuart back in 2016 when I first came yeah. up to, to Yorkshire to, to drinking purposes and uh, and yeah it was just uh, it was a fantastic place then but then I didn't realise how far it went back um, yeah that whole area behind the main bar as you as you see it which is brilliantly located you can't miss it um, it's quite an open space in front of it so it's like it's mm. there it's massive um, that's the, that's the, it, the pub it's itself great. big isn't it <laughs> it's massive but it's so clean and it's so and it's, but it's so clean light modern but then it's got that nice kind of walk in through the side door from the main bar and it just opens up into this where you, can, you saw it on the may have yeah. seen it briefly on the thing earlier it's just it's huge out the back and then you've got their, their own bar there I actually done a tour of the whole thing and there's actually a little bar upstairs as well which I didn't obviously I didn't go up there yeah yeah um, that's that's I think that's like I think it's more of a bookable space that so you can, right. you can, have, you can, you can have like events yeah there rece and, receptions yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's nice yeah, up there it's really it's quite plush spent, a lot, spent over yeah. two million on that on the, on the restoration of that of the whole thing yeah I heard two point I heard two point two million and, yeah, I'm not um, surprised. I mean, it's um, it's well impressive and yeah. yeah it's big big cliche with the neon. Yeah, yeah. Bit of a I completely cliche. agree. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. <laughs> but really, really nice, nice cask as well. And then behind, or well, that back bar at least, then the, the keg behind behind that um, on the back wall. Really great. It's an untapped, verified venue. So when you Mm -hmm. something in, you get your name on screen, all that shenanigans. Which everybody loves. I was doing yeah. that when, when me and Craig were there. We, we did. Like, we, we, we filling the board. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. But uh, <laughs> Craig was lucky I to stand not. at that point. <laughs> yeah. In fairness, <laughs> I was actually. In fairness, I, I, I actually I was all right. By the time we got into Leeds, I was like, yeah, yeah. I'd have, you know, You're there was so many. The trouble is, there were so many damn good beers on. I wanted to try, and I just wasn't in that. Let's go. And, I'm capable. You know. Yeah. And then I thought, <laughs> I've got, I've got to, I've, I, you know, it's, a, it's getting on for a four-hour trip back home and stuff. It's like, nah. Yeah, well, well it's like it's, it's when when I when I went in with Rob, uh, it was it was almost like I, I wasn't actually too bothered about what what was on. I was just there to just like have a drink and like chill out. I wasn't like. <laughs> Good. I wasn't there to like be ticking every beer off, and so I've got to drink no. the range, and, no. and that, that was really good. It was a really welcoming space, and they were really damn good beers. Like the beers that yeah. I had, I had. I, I mean, think I had mostly like pale beers, but yeah, they they got six. Is it six core range beers they have? Um... Well, it's hard to say, really. I mean, when I think of their core range, uh, the Jew. I'm just Alpaca, going by. Yeah, I'm just going at by. least one lager. Yeah. I'm just going by um, their, their website. Hook back, hook back. That's good. I, I need to try them. I this is, I mean, that one I had in when we was there. That's my obviously my first one. Yeah, was that was it Calico? Or was it the Jamandi? I was just going to look it, up, and I just it, it were it either or, either one of those two. I think it was the the, uh, the uh, latter. Jamandi, I think I think that was new that week actually. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I, had, I think I had Calico. New, new Zealand Hot Pale Ale? Yeah. Yeah, Calico was great and they've canned yeah. that recently as well. I need to get I need to go down and get some more, more cans. Calico was the one that stat like that sort of stood out for me on the night. But uh Cala, Pi you can drink Cala. pints of that though. Yeah, I don't drink yeah. pints, but you can drink pints <laughs> yeah. of that. Yeah. It's what do you call it? Cala Cala uh Calico. Is that what it is? For, for Calico. Yeah, yeah. Kind no. of a blue badge. Pale blue badge. No, no, no that's what I had. I had that. Oh, oh Caledonna. Is it something like that? No. Oh, I can't. It's really been... I think, it, I think it's Caledonna. Yeah, Caledonna. Austra Cal is, it Austra is it Australian hops or something like that? Yeah, but that's the one I had. The Australian oh, yeah, 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 it, it, yeah, that rings the bell. Yeah, no, it, um, I, I, I had that, I did have that, and I did enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I mean, they yeah. make some really, good, they make some spot on lags. It's a, it's an interesting place in the sense that it, it's kind of, um, it's got to be a lot of things for a lot of people because, because, kind of the place it is, it's not like a craft beer hotbed, 
and it's a big place, so it's got to appeal to quite a broad demographic. So they've got they've got a couple of really nice lagers. I mean, when Peter came over, he really liked the lager, and um, yeah. they're really well. I mean, Colin knows his lager as well. He's into lager, um, so they'll do a nice job on that. And, and yeah, a lot of what you got on draft is kind of session strength. A lot of package stuff is a little bit more kind of. Um, a bit more different. They've done a bunch of sours and stuff, mainly collaborations. So I think that's where they give, they have the opportunity to kind of like play a bit in, in the yeah. cans. And I've done. So, um, have, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, have they, have they done any? Um, have they done any goes beers with a name like that? Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've not had many of this. I've not had many many of the sours. They've yeah. done a bunch though. They've had, done at least like six. They like they even had seltzer with brick. I didn't. I didn't get oh, over that. <laughs> <laughs> I hit these shores yet. The hard seltzer thing has it, but it's coming. <laughs> but um, yeah. they, they, they so, can't be. Um, they can't be brewing at capacity, or do you think they are? Because this is a, this is a big brew kit. I don't think it's that big. I don't think it's that big. What is it like? It's probably only like twenty barrels. I'd say. I don't think. It's oh, really? it, just, it just it just seemed like monolithic when. <laughs> From my, from my but, but but they've got to supply to their own place, so they've got two bars in their own building. Mm -hmm. um, they're gonna and they've got there's two uh, craft asylums in Leeds, so there's two bars. There. Oh, of course, yeah. How mu how much they're selling to the Osset Estate, I don't know, but I'd be very surprised if they at least one keg beer most Osset Osset pubs. Yeah, oh, actually, isn't yeah. A, a salt beer. So and Osset have got a lot of pubs around the kind of the Wakefield area. Mm -hmm. West Yorkshire in general, I'd say, um, and, and they own some cracking pubs. I mean, um, Three Pigeons in Halifax is a great pub, a lovely, lovely pub. Oh, I have to go there. Stuart took me there as well. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Oh, yeah, you love it, Stuart, Chris. It was Stuart who took me there. <laughs> absolutely, Halifax is getting better and better. It's good. Um, anyway, so Craig, do you have the um, do you have the untapped page? Yeah, I'm for just, this one. Uh, I was just going to quickly go through their core range um, mm. as I've got that. Ready. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Just to give them, a, and then I'll go into the the final beer in a sec. Uh, right screen. Let's see if this works. Let's let's enjoy ourselves. Um, <laughs> God. So we'll come to a grind. Struggling. <laughs> yeah. Well, while Craig's doing that, we've got we've got a couple of my comments. I'll read that while Craig yep. he's getting that aside. Um, and Chris Craig says, "Great street, great great stream, guys." And info as usual. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. And then Adam Johnson says, similar to Slopian I've done with their black label stuff. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, I've not had any Slopian for ages. I had one in, when we were down in Birmingham, but yeah, they kind of dropped off the face of the earth, really, the Slopian, I'd say. I like them. They're a good beer. Don't send me any anymore, though, so I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then once again, Tilly1997 says, hello. So, hello. 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 I presume this is spam bot. Yeah. Um, so, and Tom McCarthy, Tom, you're a bit late. What's going on here? Are you <laughs> watching Wonder, uh, Wonder Bear Wonder or something? Um, and he, he says hi, and then Adam says, I had a few of their uh, theirs, but with mixed reviews. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I, I quite like Slurpee, and I've just not had it for a long time. I think they're, I think they're making some brave steps at one point. So, yeah. So, so this is the car range then. Yes, um, so it's, just, it's on the website, you can go and check it out. Um, but yeah, it's their core range. So they've got a, a Hex Lager. Uh, yeah. um, I think I did actually yeah. have that. When we, when did. We four, yeah. did you? Uh, I think did I did. You might have done. We yeah. were a bit pissed by that point. Though. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> I think I did have it. <laughs> we weren't styling and profiling by that. No, <laughs> it took a little bit earlier for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they've got obviously a session IPA, 4.2, well that's 4% the lager, 4.2 session IPA, 4.4 West Coast Pale, uh, a New England IPA 5.5, and then a double dry hopped IPA 6.6, .6, and then a double IPA, double dry hopped, double IPA. They're, they're, all, they're, all, de they're all decent beers, then. I'm a big fan of Hookback. I can't. Right. So I, I can't. It's been good from the start. I mean, I've got to say that. I mean, that is one beer was was good on the opening night. Yeah. And I'm sure it's even better now, but yeah. 
that that's got to be core range. That's got because they haven't got a dark beer in there. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Do it. So yeah, it is. It's sorry. damn tasty. It's a big beer, though. I mean, for, for me, you're not going to drink up many pints of six point three percent either. No. So yeah. these, these are all. Are they all? They're not all collabs, but there's a, there's a few here that. Yeah. Collabs. Uh, Session Sour, all fine. Ma- Magua and uh, Guava Fruited Pile. That could be interesting. Uh, Magua Fruited Pile again. Um, Interesting. I mean, I mean, this is like obviously a lot. Of, most of these probably, or well, few of them, won't be available, of course. But um, that's what I, I guess is what they've just done so far. I don't, I haven't gone through everything, but ours is there. That one. Um, is there any information on this? Well, there here. you go. This calico we were talking about in the middle on the next line down, isn't it? Ah, uh, it's probably just stuff we've already kind of read on Untapped. I guess. Um, yeah, keg and can, vegan, and all that sort of thing. So you can buy it online. Cool. Do it. Buy it online. That's yeah, that's what I mean. Just buy <laughs> website. Tell, tell them website. we sent you. There's no code, but tell <laughs> them we sent you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then one at the bottom there. There we go. Is that in stock? I'm going to have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Because this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely one of the most enjoyable beers I've had. Yeah, really. You no, know, not necessarily the best beer I've had this year, but one of the most enjoyable by far. I'm not going to, but I'm just going to have a look. <laughs> I'm just not going to buy it. And this is where I'm, we see Craig's credit card I'm, details. I'm, I'm, and... I'm, which is it? <laughs> You're back, 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 no, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's on flavourly. Okay. So that's not. Mm. Oh, oh. Well, so the, I might just sell it through flavourly, yeah. like a lot of people, a lot of other shops, a lot of yeah breweries well, use it. How much? How much? How much selling it? A pop? Is this going to be out of interest? I'm just. I said, oh, I'm just sold in my local bottle shop. I fixed it over price. Oh, it just seems to be going slow. It doesn't matter. But but yeah, so that, that that's a rundown. You'll buy a case of it. So we'll, we'll go straight into. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, steady on now. But, um, <laughs> buying a case of beer. But yeah, get out <laughs> there in your local um, bottle shops. I'm sure it's getting around. There'll be some online shops as who are selling it. My my, have a look on. I've looked on Honest Brew. See if they've got it. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. That's a good shout. We'll get rid of this. If if our discount code still works. Well, I can't remember what it is yeah. anymore. Could be alive. It's gonna be alive. Yeah. Twenty. TBL alive. twenty. That's smart. GBL ten, I think. I can't it is. GBL ten, ten. There you go. GBL ten. Ten. That's yeah. It. If you want to, if you want to make the most of that, I know we're not, we're not, we're not sponsored by um, those guys anymore. But I mean, why not use it? Why not make the, make the most out of it? Yeah. Spend it over. T- right. Spend it over thirty pounds, and um, get ten, ten pound off on an honest brew with GBL yeah. ten. Indeed. So. As it says, collaboration brew inspired by the star. You, uh, you, you, don't want, you all know that already. Um, we've done pretty much the. Uh, done this. This, is, this, this is more the interesting thing. I've done it. So, so 59 total check ins the last 30 days, then 58 the last all. month. So, so, one person has had this. This is a new beer. It's a new beer. Yeah. So, 43 ratings then coming in at a huge 4.37. That's pretty well, good. Should, well, that's a really good beer. Yeah, it's not an insignificant amount of people. Yeah, but it's, go, go, yeah, and look, but, go and look at uh, cycle beers. I'm betting most of them aren't getting that high a bit rating. <laughs> honest, that's no. The thing is, that's a big fucking is, rating. That is massive. I mean, I mean, we've untapped most people, but then you'll get some people they don't they don't like dark beers and they'll have a can of that and then <laughs> yeah, oh, and they give it a give, one. Give it a that's one. That's not really the point of a review. <laughs> But but then that that affects the whole thing, doesn't it? It's just yeah. Perhaps perhaps people just do it to I don't know, whatever. Or Sometimes on tap gets it right. <laughs> yeah. I think gen- I think I think generally they're pretty damn good. It's a good guide, I think. But yeah, because most most people who like good beer, I've heard of it, at least untapped. Most people who drink lager have probably never heard of it. So that's just me. Um, <laughs> You waited until the end, but 
sneaked it in. So yeah, but so it's like one five five three over seven four. is a big ass range. I mean, you could That's look massive. at yeah, some of the big. best breweries in the world. Go and look at what other half are getting for their stouts, and they're probably not getting as high a rating as that. Mm-hmm. Look at that. No, that. Even that's 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 too low. What well, numb to get that then? Well, Sean K. I don't. I don't you know. Tasteless knob. <laughs> well, no, uh, not Sean. Sure. It was oh, Peter, Peter L. Peter L. Peter L. Peter L. Peter L. Come on, let's have a look at Peter L's. Let's destroy him. Yeah, <laughs> it's the, it's a character assassination of Peter L. <laughs> what shit are I you been drinking, pictures... Peter L? I think the picture says it all. So, what, what does oh, the L right, stand okay, for? Yes. Laughable idiot. La- <laughs> <laughs> it depends what it is. Uh, salt beer factory. It's a lot of people. Fucking yeah. Maybe it's not as good as on on draft. I mean, I don't know, but this can's stonking. Uh, Danny West. So they've had this. They've had added, John Kane. Uh, doc, doc, give it a four. Doc's beers. They've had this in Grimsby. Well, so, well, that's the that's the, collabor- co- the collaborator, collab- collab- isn't it? Collab- the other the, the other partner to the to the mm. beverage. I've had a couple uh, of beers from those guys. They were they were solid, not not amazing, right. but not bad. Well, no, I still I'm I'm more curious now of them than before. I've never heard of them before, to be honest. I don't know. How far, I don't know how far their beers get out. So, so Steve's probably not. from. Uh, oh, oh what did he give it? From, Steve O'Clock. Um, You're an absolute Three point seven five. Seven five. Three seven five. Fucking have a word with him when I see him in a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh no, they, they sell it. Fucking they, sell it they sell it at um, Two Brews, which is a beer shop in Colchester, it's about twenty minutes from me. Oh right, yeah. yeah. yeah Steve, well, Steve's, two, Steve's not that far from Colchester. Yeah, that's where he does like his drinking in Colchester. Yeah. So, sorry, where's where's he? He's got it at Two Brews of Essex. Yeah, yeah. It's a bottle shop in Colchester. They sell beer and coffee. Huh? That's what I've got. Two 3.75. What's wrong? What, what's he moaning about? He, uh, right, the thing is, he's a genius. I don't think he is. Smooth he's hints saying... of coffee, then balance. What, well, why did he only get 3.75? If he, if I, th- those comments are very yeah. good. Tight ass fucking Steve. <laughs> 3.75. <laughs> uh, Casal. Cassel. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's going to be lot. There's going. There's going to be lots of uh, big scores and. Yeah, uh, absolutely. absolutely. I love that one just above there where it just said, "That's lovely." <laughs> Bloody lovely. That's lovely. <laughs> so, Super happy party. Yeah, so <laughs> Soul on, on fire. fire. Uh, That's yeah, a, I completely agree with Sorry, Richard so, M. Yeah, Sorry, Richard M. Just... He's on the level. Steve, we're having words. <laughs> Oh, that, that, oh, that, that's yeah, Kerry oh, Riley, she's, she's yeah. Jimmy, and she can take a very nice photograph as well. Yeah, yeah, she's. Um, is it Wasn't called, sure what uh, to expect. Whip, is it? She works for Witchwood, is it? Oh, no, she really, she really wouldn't know what to expect then if she works for Witchwood. <laughs> nice photo there. Yeah. Um, um, good, nice use of depth of field. Yeah, it's a Huawei P20. Oh. No messing. Everyone's given. Everyone's given us like huge scores. Wow! So yeah, there's yeah, a, there's, yeah, there's yeah. A five. I, there's a five. I agree with everybody apart from Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, agree with the com- I agree with the comments. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with comments, Steve. But you, your ratings tight. Just jeez, Steve. Put it up point two five. Want? Put it up point two five. I'm going to be criticising those Ben of L comments when he's when he's there in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> he's giving them fours. Anyway. Mm. I'll calm down. <laughs> Do you know what? I've drunk all of, actually I've got that little bit. Very, very I've, got, little bit. I've got I've got that much left, there you go. All gone. I've, I've, gone. I've never Might drunk, gone. I've drunk it all. all all the beers in the show before, so that's the first. I've got I've got a little I've got a little bit this much of each can left just for just to wet my whistle with lit. And I'd actually had I had, I had another beer at the stand, so I've I've actually drunk three. Yeah, I had a, before I come on, I had a um, Northern Monk's Origin. Yeah, uh, I'll, 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 this has been my little sort of in-between beer. That's nice. It's, it's, okay. it's okay, the New World. It's, it's nice. It's, nice. it's, not, it's not like 
Well, because I, I, I got decent. that from got that from Morrison's, where they also had the other Northern Monk that don't mess with Yorkshire or whatever it is. Yeah, I've got that downstairs, um, and that that is a great beer. That don't mess with Yorkshire is yeah, that is a nice beer, tasty beer. <laughs> Whereas this is a bit lackluster for me. This uh, newer one. Well, yeah, I forgot. I You're starving the public of content for the next. Installment of <laughs> what Mor- Morrison's <laughs> Morrison's exclusive. Yeah. We'll talk about all that shit in a bit. Because <laughs> Craig, Craig, Craig's going to start another chat. We'll probably you'll probably get some other um, other faces on on here from these beautiful ones you're currently seeing. Um, <laughs> so big thanks to Craig and Jake as always. Huge thanks to the guys at um, Salt Beer Factory for yeah, sending really, us um, really cool. for sending giving us these beers. It's very generous of you to do so. Um, Feel free to do it again. Clearly, we've we've really we really enjoyed the tram shed, and we, the the, back, the bow line has fucking blown us out of the water. I can't believe how good, it, good that was. That was really good. Um, so please search out. I definitely search out both beers. Definitely search out the bow line. I think that's that is a really good beer. Um, check these guys. Check them out on social media as well. Follow what these guys are doing. It's, they're going to get. They're just getting better and better. Um, so yeah. So some big thanks to for, for all that. I'm Rob from Hopzine. He's Jacob. He's Ken from Craig's Beer Reviews. We'll see you in a bit. Cheers. <laughs>